You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. The New Year's festival was really important in ancient Babylon. At this festival the king was supposed to perform rituals which foretold what the year would be like. For many years Nabonidus, the last king of Babylon, had failed to turn up. He'd been in Arabia fighting wars and he'd been in conflict with the priests of Marduk and the city of Babylon, preferring Sin, the god of his hometown Haran. As a result, all Babylon was on edge. That's the situation shortly before Cyrus, king of Persia, appears on the scene. And many scholars suggest it's also the situation to which Isaiah chapter 40 is addressed. Let's listen to the chapter with this festival in mind. First, picture yourself. You're a Judean exile in Babylon, second generation. It's the New Year's festival. All the idols of the gods have been taken out of the city and now, at New Year, are ready to be brought back in through the huge triumphal arch of the Ishtar Gateway covered with the latest technology glistening enamel-covered bricks with pictures of mythical beasts inside the gateway a processional route leads to the temples the route itself is covered with these glistening images the idols are gold-plated sparkling in the sun and the huge crowds are shouting and worshipping and buying and selling and there you are the offspring of a defeated people a people whose god has a temple in ruins far away in Jerusalem now hear the words of the prophet comfort O oh comfort my people says your god speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she served her term that her penalty is paid that she's received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins a voice cries out in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord make straight in the desert a highway for our God every valley shall be lifted up every mountain and hill be made low the uneven ground shall become level and the rough places are plain then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken Wow sounds more like a motorway there's the processional highway in Babylon leading deep in the heart of the city but this highway leads across the desert far far away to Jerusalem a voice says cry out and I said what shall I cry all people are grass their constancy is like the flower of the field grass withers flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it surely the people are grass grass withers flower fades but the word of our God will stand forever yeah if you're in exile you're aware of your mortality and the shortness of life get you up to high mountain no Zion herald of good tidings lift your voice with strength O Jerusalem herald of good tidings lift it up up do not fear say to the cities of Judah here is your God just like the people are crying in the streets of Babylon here's your God he's coming now see the Lord God comes with might his arm rules for him his reward is with him his recompense before him just like a conquering general or king when God travels back to Jerusalem down this triumphal highway he'll take his people with him he'll feed his flock like a shepherd verse 11 he'll gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep notice how the two contrasting images are put together the conquering king and the gentle shepherd and now turn your eyes back to those idols who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand marked off the heavens with a span enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance who has directed the spirit of the Lord or as his counsellor has instructed him whom did he consult for his enlightenment and who taught him the path of justice who taught him knowledge showed him the way of understanding even the nations are like a drop from a bucket they are counted as dust on the scales see he takes up the isles like fine dust and while we're on the subject of gods and sacrifices Lebanon would not provide fuel enough nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering not even Lebanon with all its famous cedars all nations are as nothing before him they are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness to whom then will you liken God or what likeness compare with him an idol a workman casts it and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts it with silver chains as a gift one chooses mulberry wood wood that will not rot then seeks out a skilled artisan to set up an image that will not topple be a shame if God fell over flatten his face wouldn't it 
Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It's he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught, and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing, even the king of Babylon. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth, when he blows upon them, and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and see, who created these? All the stars. He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name. The stars were gods for the Babylonians. You've seen their idols go past. Mars and Jupiter and the rest. Because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So. You exile in Babylon, remember who your God is, and hope.